We'll be right back. On Nick. Tired of arguing with your partner? Look no further. These two scientists have figured out the answers to all your problems. Hi, I'm Mr. Worldwide Handsome, and this is my intern. Do you want to know if you and your partner are going to last? Well, we have the answer for you. Join our legitimate labs program to find out. Previous studies, such as those mentioned in the book Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, have shown that 15 minutes of video is enough to predict whether a couple will stay together to an extremely high accuracy. Now, we've developed a system that only takes 5 seconds. All you need to do is send us in a 5 second video of you and your partner talking about anything. And we mean anything. And we'll analyze it and tell you whether the two of you will last. Now, how do you do it, you ask? Well. I'm Mr. Worldwide Handsome, and this is my intern. We've been researching this topic for over 35 years. And I'm 22. And we are so good at analyzing relationships, we always know what will happen. Let's take a look at our system being used in live action. So, how's the weather? It's pretty good. You want to go to the gym tonight? Yeah. Ah, you see his face right there? He's showing classic signs of distrust. So, using our patented complicated algorithm, I determined that, I mean our algorithm determines that this couple will not stay together. So, don't hesitate to try our service now for only $19.99.99. Or, you can pay to try our new service, the 5 millisecond test for only $1,000 more. Oh, Egg McMuffin, good call, babe. And you're definitely not my boyfriend. Oh. It's easy to get lost in breakfast at McDonald's. Hi, I'm Mr. Worldwide Handsome, and this is isn't, my... Isn't that the same guy? What? Do you suck at interviews? Do you wish there was a way to know exactly what your interviewer was thinking? Well, look no further, as we have developed a system that will solve all of your problems. Let's take a look at a real interview that we secretly recorded and wiretapped to analyze exactly what goes on inside an interviewer's head. Hello. Hello. So, why do you want this job at Stella Artois Incorporated? So, I have 15 years of experience working in advertising, and I can assure you that I'm the right man for the job. Hmm, interesting. Where did you get your college education? Oh, I graduated from Harvard University in 07 with a master's in communication and marketing. Excellent. We always love having Harvard grads join us. Um, and the final question that we have to ask is, what is your beer of choice? I'm a Stella Artois man myself. Always good to hear. Thank you very much. So, let's say that was you. Not bad, right? Well, let's take a look now at our second candidate, your competition. Hello. Hello. So, why do you want this job at Stella Artois Incorporated? So, I have 15 years of experience working in advertising, and I can assure you I'm the right man for the job. Hmm, interesting. Where did you get your college education? Oh, I graduated from Harvard University in 07 with a master's in communication and marketing. Excellent. We always love having Harvard grads join us. Um, and the final question that we have to ask is, what is your beer of choice? I'm a Stella Artois man myself. Always good to hear. Thank you very much. So, could you spot the difference between these two interviews? No? Let's take a look at it one more time side by side. Still can't find it? Let's see what the interviewer was really thinking during each of these interviews. <sighs> oh my god, I hate my job. Okay, who is this guy? I don't really care. I'm a CEO. He graduated from Harvard. Oh, nice, nice. Alright, whatever. I don't really care at all. What should I eat for dinner? Um, Alright. This guy, like, already is taking way too long. I'm too tired for this. Okay, finally, he's leaving. Oh, Alright, who's this next guy? Oh my gosh, he's Oh, what is he like? Six four, six five. You know what? Honestly, I don't even care. I'm just gonna hire this guy. Like he could have been working at McDonald's his whole life, and I'll still hire him. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Well, you see it now, right? The interview was already decided at this point. 
take a look at this frame. Now, I'm a smart guy, right? And I read books. And basically, what I concluded from this book, Blink, by Malcolm Gladwell, was that the interview's biases, built on a lifetime of experience that reinforces the idea that tall people do better in the workplace, clearly show as he already decides to select the taller candidate as soon as he enters the interview. <gasps> What the? Stella Artois. Oh yeah, sure. Thanks. Stella Artois. In the drink of champions. <laughs>